What's up guys? Just want to make a little video comparing a hatchling common snapping turtle with a hatchling alligator snapping turtle. Now most people think common snapping turtles are alligator snapping turtles. Hey, I just found an alligator snapping turtle in my garden. What do I do? And I see it online all the time. You didn't find an alligator snapping turtle. You just didn't. They're an endangered species. Um, they, their range is in the south, the southeast. Uh, well, they're, they're in Texas, stuff like that, but it's south. And they live in rivers, and like you're just not finding them. The odds that you found a common snapping turtle are way, 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 way greater than you found an alligator snapping turtle. So just, you did not find an alligator snapping turtle uh, hatchling. That's okay. Common snapping turtles are awesome. But just know that, okay? So I'm going to show you um, some distinctives of the two real quick, and so that you can know you didn't find one, and if you did, this is a protected species. You don't get to just keep it. Don't keep it if it actually is. Uh, put it back, and yeah. All right, guys, so here's some differences between alligator snapping turtles, common snapping turtles, and Florida snapping turtles, which are technically now um, just common snapping turtles, but you can actually tell some differences between them as well. And uh, these are hatchlings, and uh, if you want to see some differences uh, between adults, definitely check out Greg's Turtle Haven on YouTube. Greg does an awesome job, way better job than I do, of uh, giving some more details about all these uh, different types of turtles. So um, lots of people think that they found this guy right here, this alligator snapping turtle, I think I'm going to call him Toka, in their backyard. You know, I found an alligator snapping turtle in my garden, right? Well, no, you probably didn't. They live in rivers. They don't live in ponds or streams, uh, maybe big streams, but they, they're they located in the south and in rivers in the south. I know that uh, their natural location comes all the way up to Illinois, at least, but um, probably not into northern Illinois, probably down in the south and probably through like the Mississippi River, something like that. So you most likely did not find one of these, and this over here... This is a Florida snapping turtle. His name is Cletus because I feel like that's a good Florida name. And uh, Cletus is a little bit older than a, a hatchling. He's not quite a hatchling anymore. He doesn't have his yolk sac. Um, but he's not too old. So he was he was a lot smaller actually than this when I first got him. But uh, you can see his keels are a little bit more prominent on the back there. Kind of like the alligator snapping turtle. They pop out. They're got an interesting color. He'll probably darken up a lot there. And uh, Cletus is... Cletus is going to have more spikes on his neck than a common snapping turtle would, but less spikes. See those spikes already? He's like Bowser, um, Mario Kart and all that stuff. So he's going to have more spikes than the common snapping turtle here, but less spikes than the alligator snapping turtle. Now, when people say they found a baby alligator snapping turtle, this is what they found, always. I've never, I've seen one person, just uh, Greg from Greg's Turtle Haven. He's the only one I've ever seen find a wild hatchling alligator snapping turtle and he was looking for it you know i've seen a couple people find them in in the rivers where they're found but no i've never seen anyone just like come across them on the road or in their garden or anything like that so this is a hatchling common snapping turtle and that name stinks because everyone's like oh it's just common no they're awesome of of the three you know i love commons because they're so gregarious they're always up and about doing stuff they're really fun. Florida snapping turtles are actually just like that because they are common snapping turtles, just um, common snapping turtles that live in Florida and have kind of adapted and, and they have different patterns and shapes and stuff like that. And then we got the alligator snapping turtle. And these guys are actually an endangered species, so you need to, in a lot of states, you need to have a permit for them. So check if you need one or not. Look, he's still got his egg tooth there. It's not showing up. But yeah, he's still got his yolk sac there. Beautiful little guy here, guy or gal. That tail's super duper long. But just notice some differences here between the common snapping turtle, which you most likely found, and the alligator snapping turtle. The alligator snapping turtle doesn't, can't really tell here, but it's actually much bigger, a hatchling, than the common snapping turtle. Now this common snapping turtle has had um, some, some time to grow a little bit. I've had him for a little while. But look at just the shell difference, the color difference, the size of the head. It's a different turtle, and 
Yeah, maybe with the three of them here together like that. And if I was shaking this around, it'd be a little bit hard to tell between the Florida and the alligator. But it's pretty, it's pretty easy to tell between a common snapping turtle and an alligator snapping turtle. So there's some distinctives for you guys. I hope that was helpful. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe if you want to see some more videos on turtles, specifically snapping turtles because I love them. Thanks for watching, guys.